So, the next project is installing the radio gear. And this requires some careful thinking about, so I'm going to need some servos. I'm sure I must have some servos in here somewhere. <laughs> I think these are going to be a bit too big. What I have selected is a nice little pair from an old DLG glider. Um, some what are known as Rick, Rick Max SD100s. I don't think they even make them anymore. But they fit lovely down inside here. So I'm just going to have a look at placing these. The other thing I've looked at is I have a 500 milliamp power battery and I have this very nice single cell um, LiPo which is 650 milliamp power and that would drop in there a treat. So I'm just going to have a play around with the spaces and then when I'm happy with it I'll get back to you. Here's a little top tip. Um, if you are removing these very small screws, I want to change the orientation of this arm. Put a little magnet on the shaft so that when you actually remove it, the good thing is what happens is, is you won't lose it. The other nice thing is, is when you actually come to put it back on, you can stick it on the end of the shaft like so, and it's not going anywhere. top tip for the night okay so I've got one servo installed I thought I'd just quickly run through what I'm actually doing is um, don't cut the wire in half because they're actually different lengths uh, and it might be difficult for your servo so what I've done is I've installed one I've just glued that straight in and I've just done I don't know if you can see that or not a little Z bend on well, a little bend on there and then I'm going to feed this into the servo like so make sure I've got the orientation right and then what I did was I fed that whole wire down and at the moment I'm just leaving it loose so I'm just going to feed this wire all the way down because obviously you can't connect these once they're in because you can't get the screws on the horns so uh, I'm just going to feed that down through there glue it in place and then I can then backslide the uh, support tubes and uh, when the covering so that's I'm just going to leave that then so when the covering comes I can do the covering and uh, then attach the horns so that's going to pop in there like so I'm just going to feed this through first okay that's my two servos in that's what I've chosen they're going to do a couple of little um, Ripmax SD100 um, I am going to choose between this uh, 650 milliamp hour 3.7 volt which surely by luck just look at that it was like it was made for it fits in there I do actually have a 500 milliamp hour battery but uh, that uh, just goes in um, so yeah I shall have a muck around but the nice thing is it gives me some flexibility with weights as well 